What is music? But a way to express ourselves. A way to express our pains, our fears, our hopes, our experiences, our dreams, and our culture. 620 East 93rd Street. This place is the mothership. This is where we grew up. This is the place that birthed us. It goes almost about 10 years in high school. Yeah. Uh, especially since high school, we have everybody has the same classes together. So, and, you know, we had our own little group. We used to hang out and do all the, you know, copy off each other and all that crap. We were in the schoolyard, and you asked me to listen to something on your cassette tape, on your cassette player, which we used to still listen to those things back in the day. Right. And um, it was my first time really listening to hip hop music. I think this place. Man, it symbolized so much of who we are as men and as human beings. We learn so many things you know, in, this, in this house. You learn how to share. You learn how to become a, 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 a decent person to society. You learn how to love. You know what I mean? You learn different things. And this like, place will always have a special place in my heart. Rap music is my culture. The definition of psychosis is a person that makes their own reality. They see and hear things in their own way. You might not be able to understand it, but it's real to them. It's what they see. I want the world to know what I see. I could tell at that moment that you know you had a real passion for it. It was intriguing how we always was looking for something different. I kind of felt like that was a perfect, perfect era for us to like grow up within music because we learned a lot and we always were searching for different ways, outlets to express ourselves. So anything that was new. And that sounded like it had a pretty much had a good harmony to it. We was always with it. When I was young and I began rapping, it was a lot of artists that I felt exemplified different styles, different levels of uniqueness. Unique was the thing that I looked towards an artist, you know, an artist I respected. Artists like Nas was unique because he came with, you know, a conscious rap, but he had the street element to it. We should be human beings that are conscious and in tune with our surroundings. Therefore, the music we make is impactful to that surroundings. It reflects the surroundings around us. Artists like Twister from Chicago, I'm from, he was unique because he could give you wordplay and word patterns. Him and, and other artists from the Midwest, like Bone Thugs and Harmony, we got known for that quick paced wordplay that was something different. You got a lot of other music out there. You listen to rock. And a lot of people will zone out on what they're actually listening to in terms of the lyrics. But when you're listening to hip hop, I primarily focus on the lyrics. That's what the art form is about. It's, it's the lyrics. <laughs> it's, it's a blend of, you know, the, the lyrics. Some guys, you know, have a story behind it. And also with the, the beats and the music, you know. And it's, it all blends together and provides, you know, a nice sound, you know, that you can just, you know, sit back at home or even in the car and just blast it for life. Thinking about Bone, like, it was amazing how they were able to sing and rap, you know what I mean? It's like, things like that, it was such an awesome era that we grew up in when we listened to that type of music. That's what drew me to it. It was, it was just the creative process, you know, on the fly, you know, putting together words and rhyming things together. It, was, it just amazed me, and that's how I got into it. As I got older, artists like Lil Wayne and T.I., Eminem, Cannabis, Wu-Tang, all these different kind of groups and artists who represented different things to me, like I always took a piece of all of them, tried to make it a part of who I am. What Kanye and uh, Jay-Z did, they were smart, they took one of Otis Redding's cut and they just tore it up and uh, the mixture because of Otis Redding being old school, older people just gravitate toward it and then with uh, Kanye and Jay-Z's ability with lyrics and words, it makes the younger people like it too. So it's a combination. Mm -hmm. Old school will never die. Hip hop rap would never be nothing without the people that made it, that laid the foundation. Those were the old school R&B artists. To me, you know, music has to come from a real place. You know, an artist has to develop to be who they are going to be, to be always working on getting better. I don't think you ever fully arrived there. You always have to challenge yourself not to be better than whoever is hot right now, but be better than your last hot song. Be better than the last good punchline, the last good lyrics, the last good beat you rapped on. You have to always be challenging yourself to be better. I think it was just all a maturation as, as, as human beings and as an artist. 
I think the knowing between was just like something new. I remember that day you came and like, man, I want you to give him a song. I'm like, I ain't never sung in no studio folk. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's slow. So it's like, you go from that to the Watch Me Glow, it was like a stark difference in where we was at in our lives and, and how the music came about too. I think artists face a lot of challenges. Uh, more challenges than people understand because you have to understand, first of all, every artist is technically working as a business. As an independent artist, our main struggle is how do we balance our everyday life while at the same time make great music and find alternative ways to get to those listeners who desperately need to hear what we, what we offer or we feel they desperately need to hear what we offer. You can get music the same day that it's created, the same day that it's out there, you can go online and pick it up. Uh, so in order for mom and pop stores to to thrive and to, to stay alive, we have to do a little bit of everything at the time. So. I think what I'm moving towards right now uh, is challenging myself to make the kind of music that I never have before. I want to do something similar to where I've been, but I want to challenge myself uh, to improve by, you know, picking tracks that aren't typical to what I have rapped on before, uh, picking styles and wordplay and flows that I haven't used before, uh, doing freestyles and, and, and original tracks uh, in a different way. And that's what this tripolar uh, mixtape, you know, is going to be about. You're going to hear songs like Best You Never Heard Of, you know, which is really up-tempo, fast, in-your-face, aggressive, hardcore. Uh, and then you're gonna hear songs like Watch Me Glow, which is laid back and it's just a celebration of life and just, you know, feel good and have fun. And I think, again, that, that versatility and that diversity is always gonna be something that I challenge myself to do. And I hope that other people listening and watching challenge themselves to do it too, because most importantly, you gotta relate to who you're talking to. And they gotta relate to you. That's what I'm talking about. Then, but now it's my only outlet, cloud 10. See, I was only 12 when I wrote my first verse.